So let's put it to use. Let's do some application problems more complicated than just parsing down one sentence and see what we can come up with. So the first story problem. In 2012, the Girl Scouts of Montana sold that many boxes of cookies. Of this number, 3.2% were donated to military personnel on base. How many boxes of cookies were donated? So we just want to set up an equation that we can solve. We have our number of boxes and a percentage. We're looking for the amount. So number of boxes. First example, 4,390,324 boxes were sold. And we're looking for 3.2% of that number. So as a decimal, what are we looking at? 0, 3, 2 equals some number n. I'm trying to figure out that amount. So if we do the multiplication, I'll just tell you what it is. n is equal to 140,490. But with application problems, we want to at least give a unit. If we can give a sentence explaining what happened, excuse me, we want to do that as well. So what does n represent? This is number of boxes donated. So good practice would be to say of the 4,390,324 boxes, 140,000 around there were donated to military personnel on base. Okay, so one for you. Population of Cape Town, South Africa is around 3 million. Of this number, 25.2% are ages 0 to 13. How many Cape Townians are ages 13 and younger? Round your answer to the nearest thousandth. So, what pieces of information do we need? Which ones are just extra? We don't care that the age range is from 0 to 13. That isn't going to be in our formula at all. We just care about the number of people and the percentage. So, set that up. So we have our number of people, 2,934,100, and I'm trying to find 25.2% of that. So 0.252 is some value x. If we do the multiplication and round, we get 739,393, and I'm going to say people, but what really happens in this case? Can we have 0.2 of a person? Not really, that's why they're telling us to round. And in this case, we have some extra practice because we're not just rounding to the nearest person, we're rounding to the nearest thousandth, thousands of people. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands is what we want to round to. To the right of it is a 3, so we need to round down. So we need to cut off the rest of that number. So x is, again, approximately equal to 739,000 people. So it's not exactly equal to 739,000. It's exactly equal to this. But we're approximating uh, the number of people ages 0 to 13. Okay, next. 2010, 8.32 million cars were made in the U.S. This was 13.4% of the world production of vehicles. That's really small. But anyway, how many vehicles were produced worldwide in 2010? This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to let a variable represent what we're trying to solve for. So I'm trying to figure out how many vehicles were produced worldwide in 2010? So I'm going to let X be world production. Okay. So before, our amount spit out on its own, so we didn't really care about labeling the variables until we were at the end. But in this case, it's a little bit more complicated because it's not an amount. We're looking for the base. So let's set it up. We have 8.32 million cars were made in the U.S. This is 
13.4% of what number? So this is 13.4% of what number? So 13.4% of the world production is 8.32. So we need to solve for x. What do we have to do? Divide both sides by 0 0.134, 0 0.134. And we get x, can you see down here? You can. Exactly equal to 62.1. But what kind of units do we have on there? We're talking about cars. Are we talking about 62 cars? 62,000 cars? We're talking about millions of cars. So, 62.1 million cars were produced worldwide in 2010. That's a lot. I would think the U.S. would contribute more, but hey, outsourcing. Anyway, next page. Two more. We're almost there. One for you to try. The area of the second largest state, Texas, is that many square miles. That is about 40.5% of the area of the largest state, Alaska, where I'm from. Where, excuse me, what is the area of Alaska? So assign a variable to your unknown, set it up for me, solve. So I'm going to let A be Alaska's area. You could have assigned it something else. But what are we looking at? So, this many square miles is about 40.5% of Alaska's area. And again, whenever we have a percentage in an equation, it has to be in decimal form. Grab a better marker. So, we need to write 40.5% as what? So, nothing's going to change. Oh, so much better. 0.405 times A. So we need A on its own. We'll divide both sides by a percentage. And what value did you get for A? 6,6,3,1,6,2. And what are our units on here? Square miles. Since we're talking about area, we're talking about two dimensions. Nice. Very last, a little bit different, but nothing that we can't handle. Jobs at United States auto plants totaled approximately 700,000 in 2013. This number is expected to grow to 856,900 in 2016. What is the percent increase? So, we're not specifically asking for an amount, a base, or a percentage. We're trying to figure out the percent increase. So the first thing we want to solve for is how much did it increase for the amount? Okay, so how many jobs in 2016 are we expecting? This many. And we started in 2013 with 700,000. So we're anticipating 156,900 increase. Okay. So now we want to figure out, this is the number that I'm increasing by. What percentage is that of my total? So, second part, since we figured out the amount increase, now we need to figure out this number is what percent of what we started with. What percentage are we increasing? What percentage of that are we adding on to get us here? So we can set that up. We're asking, this number is... What percent of 700,000? Solving for P, so we need to divide both sides by 700,000. So many zeros. 
So, P is exactly equal to a repeating decimal, so we're going to chop it off and approximate 0.224. So again, P is a percentage. How do we need to report it in an example like this? So, P is approximately equal to 22.4%. So we're increasing number of jobs from 2013 to 2016 by 22.4% of what we started with. So setup is a little bit different. You might have to think about it a little harder, but it's nothing we can't handle.